What's going on guys? I'm out here at my Field of Dreams site again. Of course, where else would I be? This place is awesome. Uh, just found this big ass piece of banded slate, but before I talk about that, I want to talk about this morning I was looking at my YouTube uh, studio app and I'm at 698 subs. So when I reach 700, I'm going to do a giveaway. And it's going to be one of the points I find today. I've already found a few. I've been here for a couple hours already. So uh, I know it's going to be something I found today. Um, so they no-till planted it this year, so it's uh, pretty hard hunting. They sprayed it. The weeds are dying off, so it's uh, exposing some dirt. And I've found a few spots I haven't hunted already. So uh, stick with me to the end, and I'll do a cleanup and uh, show you which point I'm going to give away. Maybe, maybe even some other goodies. See, I just walked up on this piece of banded slate. It's huge. I ain't gonna pack it around for the rest of the day, so uh, I'm just gonna have to mark it somehow and come back and get it on my way back to the truck. Let me get it wet. I mean, you can see it's it's really well banded. I'll get it wet and uh, see what it looks like. stuff is awesome it's all over the place around here i find pieces parts of it i mean big small the natives made all kinds of stuff out of it from around here gorgets pendants banner stone axes celts i mean any type of hard stone tool they needed they use this stuff and i don't blame them because it's beautiful and it's easy to work too it's pretty soft but it uh, it seems to hold up pretty well some of the pieces are better than others, uh, just depends on how it was formed. Sometimes there's uh, like silt layers between the layer, silt between the layers of the, and the banding and the pieces will break, but a lot of times it's this stuff's rock hard. I mean, it's solid. But uh, I'm gonna get back out hunting it. So uh, let's see what else I find. yesterday so everything was kind of muddy. Adina, some type of big blade. I like it. Let's find another one. Might be a flake, I'm not sure. Looks like it's been worked. Let me clean it off. I know what that is. I've been looking high and low for one of these. The paleo point. I found, I don't know, three or four of these out here. They're called high low points. They got their name from uh, a gun range where they did a dig and found them and uh, named them that. I'm not sure where the site was, but. That was the name of the gun range. Pretty cool. It's 
a little beat up. It's like missing a tip maybe. I don't know that it's rounded. Run it off. I'll take it. Found a big old cache blade, uh, north blade, that's what they call them, around here at least. Yeah, that's chert. I find a bunch of these. Liston Creek chert. Nice little blade. Everything is muddy as hell today. That's a nice blade. Kill shot. Man, this point looks nice. I hope it is whole. It's like a little stemmed point. Looks sweet. That's hornstone. No, no, that was a bifurcate. Oh yeah. And definitely hornstone. Oh, it's missing an ear. A little uh, hearing impaired there, I see. But I'll take it. I think it's sweet. And some deep notches on it. Got me a little birdie, my favorite. It's got a big ding in it. Side and the notch and the bottom. That's not a Madison. I don't know what that is. If anybody knows, let me know. That's not a notch in the bottom. That's a ding out of it. It's tiny. About the size of my thumb now. I about walked right by it. Just thought it was a flake. Sweet. I didn't take four steps from that little bifurcate I just found, and uh, I've seen this. I'm not sure if it's anything, but we're going to about ready to find out. It's banded slate. Hopefully, it's something. Nope. Just a rock. The sun's coming out. Clean it off. That's beautiful, though. You got a band on that thing. Wow, man. Ding in it, but I mean, it's just a rock, but I'm still taking it home. Sweet. I just found something porcelain. But 
maybe a doll arm or part of a frozen Charlotte. I'm not sure. It's funny because just last night I was watching the Return of the Collector's latest video and he just found a Barbie doll leg. This is quite a bit older than Barbie though. I think they made these dolls and the frozen Charlottes like from 1850 up to the 1920s, somewhere around there. I'm not sure on the exact dates, but I'm close. Yeah, it's, it's not a frozen Charlotte. It's a doll arm. You can see the that ring around the top where they would have attached it to the dress. Still a cool little find. Not a native artifact, but uh, still going home with me. This is my second by fur kit for the day. I love these little points, man. They're awesome. Definitely not pooters. Oh yeah. Man, I think it's nice. Mickey Mouse. black spot on it there, in the fossil or something. Really nice point. Then let's find another one. Big chunk of red, something or other. A big blade, or uh, I don't know, maybe little ads. Let's clean it up, see what it looks like. This is a Liston Creek chert. It's been heat treated. That's why it's red. It's usually like a light gray color. It's a, I found that North Blade a couple hours ago. Same stuff. But this is a, just been heat treated. It turns red. Pretty cool. Man, guys, I just found something awesome. Um, I'm not sure if it's whole yet because I ain't touched it, but if it is, it is a smoker. Come on, baby. Be there. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at that. I didn't expect much today because they no-tailed this, but I found a spot I guess I hadn't really hunted that good earlier. That thing is sweet. Look at them deep notches. Ooh, I'm not, is this a lost lake? You guys let me know. I'd say I'm not real uh, keen on my point types. I think it's a lost lake. I don't know. Let's clean it off a little bit. Man. Awesome. 
awesome, dude. Look, it's got little serrations all around the edge. A little micro flaking. That is a killer. Man, I'm glad I come out here today. Sweet. Let's find another one. Got some roundness. I hope I, I hope it is what I think it is. Mm. Oh yeah, a discoidal biscuit type. Clean that thing off. Definitely discoidal. And right beside that is hopefully something else. It's banded. This band of slate is all over the place in this field. Alright. Let's go find another one. Got me another point here sticking out of the ground. Right there. But before we look at that, right next to it is another piece of slate. This is red banded slate here. I don't think it's anything, but it's still coming home with me. Yeah, it's just a little piece. I can't see if you guys can see the colors in it, but it's uh, red and it's got like gray uh, streaks going through it. Everything's so freaking muddy today. All right, let's get back to this point. black and I see like a lightning streak strike whatever going through it oh feels good oh yeah oh yeah is good wow man I'm so glad I came out here today Let's clean that bitch off. Pardon my French. Holy cow. Man. That thing is sweet. Holy cow, look at that. What is going on? Holy crap. That thing's huge, about three inches. Got a neat little lightning strike going through it. Awesome. I don't know the base, what type. 
If anybody knows, please tell me, because this is one of the better points I've found. Back at the house for the cleanup, I found a bunch of stuff today, man. I filmed it all, but I, I, just, I just couldn't put it in the video. It's, it's been way too long. It's already running long. And I know you guys got a short attention span. So uh, uh, here's my pooters and uh, broke stuff I found. It's This stuff's really hard to identify when it's broke, so I just like to break it up into by the uh, tribes they were made by. Right here we got... Here's a few by the uh, Tippewan tribe. And I found a few here by the uh, Partawan tribe. And then last but not least, I got five little pooters here from the uh, Basawan tribe. A lot of people don't know about these tribes, but they're uh, all over the Midwest. If you talk to people around here, they, uh, they find a lot of them. Now my uh, good points for the day couple smokers big adena point blade probably not sure of the material mike over at the uh, artifact addiction i'm counting on you for some help with identifying these because you know i just don't really know my stuff that good i'd like to know what type of point this is it's uh, really black got a really nice lightning strike through it awesome probably one of my best points of the year Nice bifurcate, hornstone, nice north blade, or cachet blade, just, you know, people call them different things around here. It's made out of uh, Liston Creek shirt. I'm about 15 miles from the source, so I find, I find a lot of it, a lot of tools made out of it. This here, little uh, ads or blade, I'm not sure what it is, same material. But this is red because it's been heat treated. But it's the same material as this light gray colored one here. Pretty neat. This one here I need help identifying. I think it's a lost lake, but I'm not sure. All I know is that uh, somebody lost it and I found it. Another bifurcate. Hornstone again. Really nice. Turned upside down. What do you got? Mickey Mouse. Sweet. This here I need help identifying too. I'm pretty sure it's not a Madison. Um, like I said, I just don't know. It's square on the side, so I'm, it's not a triangle. But it's a little tiny bird point. That chip in the base is not supposed to be there. It's a plow ding. And the one I've been looking high and low for, like I said earlier, another paleo point. High low point, kind of beat up, but hey, a paleo point's a paleo point. I'll take it. Found a biscuit discoidal. I think I'm saying that right. Found a few of them there. I mean, it's nothing special. I'm still waiting for a nice polished one with the hole in it, like they find out west. But uh, my little doll arm, porcelain piece. Big ass piece of banded slate, really nice. It's going in the rock garden. Found a uh, horn coral. Find a lot of fossils in that field too. I mean, there's just, I find everything in that field. You name it, I've found it there. Fossils, points, axes, celts, banner stones. It's all there. Another piece of banded slate, really beautiful. I might try to polish this up and do something with it. A couple uh, pieces of glacial till. I wasn't sure what they were until my buddy over at uh, Ontario Rockhound, his channel, commented and told me what they were. They're, uh, they're called carnelian stones. I mean, they're really translucent, beautiful. Oh, shit light really shines through them well that one really lights up good another piece of banded slate and this here i'm not sure if you guys are familiar with but this is a, a type of porphyry 
Now I need help identifying this specific type too because there's several different types. It's beautiful. There's, you know, in the books I've got, there's artifacts made of it, but you know, they're kind of rare. Never found anything made out of it yet, but I find a bunch of it. Well, that's about it. Eight and a half hour hunt. Walked 9.6 miles and wore my pedometer today. I'm sunburnt, but I don't care, man, because I found a bunch of stuff. All right, I'm going to uh, clean this stuff up and we'll get ready to talk about the giveaway. All right, now for the part you guys all been waiting for, the giveaway. I'm going to do something a little bit different than most people do. and Instead of uh, letting the pooter pick who wins, I'm going to do it by the... Uh, funniest comment on this video and I'm not going to pick it I'm going to let my old lady pick it because I got friends out there and I just don't want to hurt anybody's feelings if they don't get picked so uh, I'm going to read her the comments not tell her who they're from and she's going to pick the winner so uh, alright I want to introduce you to my official unofficial mascot for my channel this is Two Dogs he's from the Tippewan tribe local tribe around here and he's got a message for Ben uh, over at Big Ben's Outdoor Channel. Awesome, awesome channel, man. He finds a shitload of stuff, man. And his videos are action-packed. Uh, they get me pumped up every time I watch them, man. I just want to go run out the door and go right out every time I watch one of his videos. So uh, he wanted me to tell you that uh, that was the tip of one point you found in your last video. And he said he's got some cousins down there, and uh, they're probably the ones that made it. So, uh you were right on that identification. Good job. All right. I let him pick what point that I found today we're going to give away. And, of course, he picks the one that I like the best. Go figure. So let's see what he picked. Give me that. All right. He picked this nice bifurcate I found, man. This thing is sweet. All right, you guys are going to, whoever wins is going to get this. And I'm going to throw in two side notches that aren't pooters. You got this one. And this one. Nice little points. Some Indiana's finest. I know you guys like the notch points. All right, that's what you guys are going to get. All you got to do to enter the contest is leave a funny comment on this video and uh, here in about a week I'll make a video and uh, post two wins. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Good luck on your next hunt. Bye. Mike, I already know. As soon as I shut the camera off, two dogs told me those aren't side notch points. They're corner notch points. So uh, no need to comment on that. See you guys later. Bye.